Hey everyone, today we are going to learn about creating and sending the form data using get and post method in PHP. So first of all, let's understand what is meant by get and post. So get and post methods are used to send information or data to the server side. But there is some difference between get and post method. Like get method is not very secure and post method is a secure means that if we want to send the sensitive data then we cannot use get method instead of get we can use the post method okay now let's create the form using get and post method and then we'll show you the output to create a form in php we are going to use the html elements so first of all start from the html tag and then the next one is a head tag after that there is a title tag write down the title for example get and post now close the title tag after that close the head tag after closing head let's open the form tag then close the form tag and after closing form open body tag then close the body tag then close the html tag okay so this is a basic structure of every html document html head title then end of title end of head after that there is a form element opening form closing form then there is a body tag and then closing of html tag so if we want to design our web page then we are going to write down that code inside this form tag opening form and closing form and if we want to write down the logic then here we use the php code inside the body tag okay okay so first i am going to design the web page okay so first we have to mention the method here so write down form method is equal to suppose here i am going to use the get method if you use here get method so in whole program you have to only use get method if you use post method then in whole program you have to use post method first i am going to use get method then show you output and then i will use the post method and then will tell you the difference between get and post okay so the form method is get now i am going to design a form where i am going to add two numbers so first i am going to insert two text box then insert the value inside the text box and then show the addition so here write down enter first number now to insert the text box in a form we use the html element that is a input tag so input type equal to number you can also use text then the property that is a name so name is equal to for example t1 suppose this is a text box one so i give the name as t1 now what is the name property the name property specifies the name for html element and it is unique for each html element or tag means if i am going to use 10 number of text boxes in a form then for each text box there is a different name for example if text box 1 has name t1 then text box 2 has some other name text box 3 has some other name like that now let's close this input tag then the br tag write down the same for second number i am just going to copy this and paste it here here write down enter second number again input type as a number and name must be unique so name it as t2 this is a text box 2 okay now insert one submit button so for that again use the input tag so input type equal to submit then name equal to for example s1 and another property i am going to use that is a value value property means the text which is displayed on the button i am going to display add on button so here value is equal to add and then close this okay so this is a form we created and we write down it inside the form tag now save this i am going to show the output okay so here write down localhost forward slash program name get post dot php okay so this is a form first number second number and button 
okay now let's write down the logic so to write down the logic go to the php tag inside the body tag and here we are going to write down the logic if is set dollar underscore get here we use get method so here i am going to again use the get method and then in square bracket in single quotation the name of submit button that is a s1 okay now what is meant by if is set the is set function is a built in function in php and which is used to determine that a variable is set or not it is used to check whether the user click on the submit button or not if the variable is set or not for that the is set method is used the value of first text box the name is t1 and this is a t2 second text box is a t2 so here i use two variables dollar n1 equal to dollar underscore get and here t1 the same for t2 so here write down here is a n2 and here is a t2 what does it mean the value of t1 that is a text box 1 is stored into variable n1 and the value of t2 that is a text box 2 is stored into variable n2 now add both the numbers n1 and n2 so here i am going to use the third variable that is a c equal to dollar n1 plus dollar n2 now print the value of c so use echo statement addition is dollar c okay so this is a simple program of a form using get and post method now save the program and refresh the web page okay so enter the value for example here 10 and here 20 and then add so the addition is 30 again enter another value okay so this is the output now as you can see here at the url of this web page the value of t1 and t2 is going to be shown because here we use get method when we want to enter the information which is a very sensitive then that time we are not going to use the get method but for example here we use the post method instead of get for everywhere just write down the post method okay now save the program and again run it so again i am going to write down localhost forward slash program name dot php again input the values and then add so as you can see here when i use post method then it cannot show the value of text box 1 and text box 2 inside the url so this is a secure method so this is a simple example program of get and post method